welcome back to my Raven Redwoods uh, Easter egg tutorial playlist. What you want to do is put your pouch in the fire. I call this my rave run, man. We're going to be in rave mode for a long time. You want to throw your sausage at this first deer statue on the wall, the deer head, and then shoot the back of it, and it'll release this symbol. There are three symbols that you have to collect, and each symbol um, unlocks a lock on that cabinet that has the bowls in it. You want to pick up these fairies here. With picking up the fairies extends your rave mode time frame. There's fairies all over the place. You'll see me pointing at them and let you know you're not going to run out. There's one there. There's one there. There's one in this corner to your left. There's one at the top of the hill. Like if you want to stay in rave mode, you could essentially stay in rave mode for a very long time. You want to go to the second cabin and look through the window on the left hand side. There's a deer head on the wall. Shoot that and it'll release the second symbol for you to pick up. Uh, when you actually look at these deer head statues, a little green mist will pop up from behind them, letting you know, hey, something needs to happen here. And what happens is every time you throw the sausage, it leaves a little green mist. It actually can damage zombies and stuff. Watch the green mist come off of the statue. See it? So it's letting you know. We go around the map and just aim at him. This is how this was discovered in the first place. You could tell, okay, this has a green mist on it. Maybe I should do something with this. And now you've gotten all of your... Uh, symbols all three locks have been unlocked and you can access the bowls now you want to stay in rave mode you want to come out here pick up fairies just go down the steps out of the spawn room we're taking this thing all the way around the map you guys now you want to go ahead and go back up the uh, the the walkway up here over the broken bridge if you ever feel like you're getting low on fairies don't don't I mean low on rave mode don't panic because there's fairies everywhere uh, just try to get the fairies that I get. So we're going to come back this way. You want to still have fairies active. You can only activate the fairies once per round. So once you've activated those fairies, it will not replenish. And what you want to do is you want to take your spearhead. See this glowing spot on the counter? You want to place it down in there. What this does is activates these targets. You want to shoot these targets as they pop up. It is time, so um, don't take too long of a time. But when you're playing solo, you have a lot of time to do it in. Once you've shot in all the targets, you'll hear a little special tone. Uh, signifying that you completed it and then you can actually equip that spearhead onto your item as an attachment and um, you'll hear a storyline a uh, little dialogue each memory charm is connected to a memory I uh, want to come over here and pick up this frog and what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste this frog down in its proper location and we'll do the challenge to actually activate the frog. For each one of these memory charms you find, they have to go in specific locations and once the location has been identified, you then actually have to do some type of ritual, let's say, to actually activate those. You want to go the same way I'm going, try to get as many fairies as needed, but not all of them because we, we're going all the way down. You want to come all the way up through here. I'll show you another location for the frog. Um, at the end of this just in case your frog location wasn't there each memory charm has two locations so don't panic if your frog wasn't there and you say oh i can't do this part you can just grab some fairies and uh head off to the second location and then double back through this way you'll have more than enough time there's fairies everywhere and what you want to do is you want to come down here into this little this little pit and you'll see the spot glowing in the back you want to put the frog memory charm down there and what this does is it activates these little green glowing frogs now when you're in rave mode if you jump up and melee the ground you'll do a ground pound and it actually pushes up daisies like you'll see the daisies actually growing out of the ground you can actually kill zombies by doing this now a lot of tutorials will show you to go up top up there and jump off you don't have to do all that you could stand over top of the frogs the way that I'm doing it and jump clean up in the air melee and kill the frogs once you've gotten all of the frogs done you can then equip the memory charm and what's so cool about this memory charm is it allows you to run on water at top speed the frog memory charm is absolutely amazing. Now you can open up your cabinet. Now that we've collected all three symbols, the locks are all gone. And there it is, the crossbows. These things are a necessity for the Easter egg. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful, man. If you're new to my channel, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.